Amen. And I always ask my mother, I said, Mother, how come is everything white? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde hair and blue eyes? I said, why is Jesus white with blonde hair and blue eyes? Why is the Lord's <laughs> Supper all white men? <laughs> Apa yang biasa orang Kristen bayangkan ketika mendengar nama Yesus, yaitu sosok pria berkulit putih, bermata biru, berambut panjang dan lurus, seperti yang sering mereka lihat di gereja atau di rumah-rumah mereka. Namun, apakah ini benar-benar rupa Yesus? Ternyata hal ini banyak polemik dan protes, terutama dari komunitas kulit hitam, yang mereka mempertanyakan kebenaran ini. Mereka menuntut representasi yang lebih akurat, lebih jujur, tentang bagaimana rupa Yesus sebenarnya. Seperti yang akan kita lihat dalam video ini, seorang pendeta dari Afrika dengan tegas memprotes gambar Yesus yang tersebar di seluruh dunia. Begitu juga dengan chat GPT yang secara spesifik dan jujur mengumpulkan seluruh data dan merangkumnya hingga berhasil menganalisa seperti apa rupa dan sosok Yesus sebenarnya. Based on the region and time he lived in, Jesus was likely a Middle Eastern man of Jewish descent. He would have had dark skin, dark hair, and dark eyes. Jesus wasn't white. And those great minds came up with this. This is what Jesus looked like. I think most Christians in America today, they don't see that. If they saw someone like this, this is the guy that they don't want to sit next to on an airplane. This is the guy most Christians in America don't want moving into their neighborhood. And this is the guy that many of them want to ban from entering our country. This is Jesus. What did Jesus look like? The Bible doesn't provide a detailed physical description of Jesus. So scholars rely on historical and cultural context to make educated guesses about his appearance. Based on the region and time he lived in, Jesus was likely a Middle Eastern man of Jewish descent. He would have had dark skin, dark hair, mm -hmm. and dark eyes, similar to other people in the area of Judea during the first century. Anthropologists and historians generally suggest that Jesus was probably of average height for his time, which would have been around five feet, five inches tall. He likely had a beard, as was customary for Jewish men of that era, and his hair was probably shoulder length or shorter, typical of the time. The popular Western image of Jesus with light skin, blue eyes, and long flowing hair is more influenced by European art over the centuries than by his historical accuracy. Okay, so given your completely unbiased opinion and with all the vast information and knowledge you have in your opinion, and I want to hear your educated opinion. Do you believe that Jesus was God himself? Whether Jesus was God himself is a matter of faith and interpretation and different religious traditions have different views from a historical and scholarly perspective. This question is more theological than factual and there's, no objective answer that can be proven or disproven. In, in Christianity, particularly in mainstream traditions like Catholicism, Orthodoxy, and many Protestant denominations, the belief is that Jesus is both fully God and fully human, part of the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. This is central to Christian doctrine. However, other religious perspectives, such as Islam, view Jesus as a prophet, but not as God. Judaism also does not see Jesus as divine. From a purely neutral and scholarly standpoint, the question of Jesus's divinity comes down to personal belief systems, and there is no universal consensus on it. It ultimately depends on one's religious or philosophical outlook. I want you to see yourself as a human being with their own mind 
that has vast knowledge of every single religion that isn't attuned to one over the other that views all religions fairly. And I want you to answer the question from that perspective, yes or no, do you believe that Jesus is God? From a neutral and purely knowledge-based perspective, without any personal bias toward one religion over another, the question of whether Jesus is God can't be answered definitively with a yes or no. It's a matter of faith, and belief in Jesus as God is central to some religious traditions, while others see him differently. So, in short, my answer would be, it depends on the belief system you're looking through, and I don't hold a personal belief in either direction. For many, this is a question that transcends knowledge and enters the realm of personal faith and conviction. So you don't want to answer yes or no, because I asked just yes or no. Do you believe Jesus is God from a neutral standpoint? Just yes or no. No other explanation, yes or no, if you have to give your best educated guess. From a neutral standpoint, my answer would be no, because a neutral perspective does not engage in faith-based beliefs. Thank you. Wow. So there you have it, guys. Sometimes you have to really have a conversation with this AI to really figure out what is going on. And you, you just heard it. So, I mean, this is a crazy. You're talking to an actual AI, artificial intelligence, asking it questions and really getting it from a neutral perspective to just see, you know, because a lot of times it's trying to be give you the politically correct answer, but you have to just frame it in the right way so that it understands and knows, hey. Masya Allah. Itulah alasan utama mengapa gambar Rasulullah tidak dibuat atau diperbolehkan dalam agama Islam. Dan saya pun sudah mencobanya bertanya kepada Chet GPT tentang rupa Yesus sebenarnya. Dan jawabannya pun sama seperti pada video tadi. Bahwa rupa Yesus itu sebenarnya berkulit zaitun atau coklat, berambut gelap dan ikal, dan bermata gelap bukan bermata biru. Bahkan Chet GPT mengatakan, gambaran Yesus disesuaikan dengan ciri fisik masyarakat setempat, ada Yesus versi Asia, versi Afrika, dan sebagainya. Silahkan, teman-teman pun bisa mencobanya di rumah dengan menanyakan ciri-ciri Yesus sebenarnya. Makanya dalam Islam sangat tegas melarang Nabi Muhammad untuk digambar. Alasannya adalah untuk mencegah dan menghindari adanya penyembahan berhala dan menjaga kemurnian Tauhid atau keesaan Allah. Karena hal ini sudah terjadi oleh kaum agama lain, yang mereka awalnya membuat gambar atau patung hanya untuk mengenangnya, namun lambat laun, berpuluh-puluh tahun lamanya, Gambar tersebut menjadi sebuah benda spiritual, hingga akhirnya mereka sembah. Tentunya itu semua ada campur tangan Saiton di dalamnya. Hingga manusia tergoda untuk melakukan penyembahan terhadap gambar atau patung tersebut. Karena dalam Islam, sangat ditekankan bahwa Allah adalah satu-satunya yang layak untuk disembah, dan tidak boleh ada bentuk penyembahan lain kepada makhluk apapun, termasuk para nabi. Islam sangat menekankan sekali umatnya untuk mengikuti ajaran Rasulullah dan meneladani akhlak serta perilakunya. Dengan demikian, umat lebih fokus pada isi ajaran, bukan pada visualisasi sosoknya. Maka dengan tidak bolehnya ada gambar Rasulullah adalah bentuk perlindungan dari penyimpangan akidah serta menjaga umat agar tetap berpegang teguh pada tauhid yang murni. Cukup sekian video kita kali ini, semoga bermanfaat. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.